there my aquatic amigos, this is the Aqua Student and we're here with another episode of Fish in the Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most spectacular looking fish from Central America. I'm talking about none other than Cryptoheros nanoluteus, formerly known as the Arcocentris nanoluteus. Now let's break this down. What does nanoluteus really mean? Well, nano means small, luteus means yellow. So putting it together, little yellow. When you take a look at the fish, I think you'll understand why it got that name. The Cryptoheros nanoluteus are a dwarf Central American cichlid with vibrant yellow bodies, beautiful blue eyes, and black barring, which gives it the common name of the yellow convict cichlid. However, the yellow convict cichlid should not be confused with the commonly seen convict cichlid, also known as the Amatitliana nigro fasciata. There are some slight differences between male and female nanoluteus. Males tend to be larger with longer dorsal and anal fins and top out at about 4 inches, rarely reaching 5 inches. Females are smaller at about 3 inches in size and end up with an ocellus or an eye shape on their dorsal fin. As temperament goes, nanoluteus are generally shy and peaceful, especially for Central American cichlids. However, they will become very territorial when breeding. The nanoluteus originates primarily from northwest Panama in the Boca del Toro region. The type species is from the Guadalmo River in the Chiriqui Grand District in Panama. In the wild, their habitat consists of primarily a sandy or muddy substrate scattered with various sized boulders. Aquatic plants are not found in their natural environment, however, I found them fairly useful for providing cover and breaking up territories within the aquarium. Speaking of territories, one of the most important aspects of the aquarium should provide some distribution of territories within the tank. This could be provided from large smooth stones, driftwood, or even artificial elements like PVC pipes or ceramic flower pots. Nanoluteus are tropical fish and tend to prefer temperature ranges within the mid 70s up to the low 80s. pH is varied as well, but should be on the acidic side of neutral. Nanoluteus are omnivores and should be fed a varied diet. Good options include a staple cichlid pellet, as well as supplementing with live foods or frozen foods like black worms and myosis shrimp. Should also provide some sort of vegetation or, or green foods in the form of spirulina or other fresh products. So what are some good tank mates to go with an Analyteus? You can try some small South American catfish like Ancestris or Corydoras. You could also go with some small tetras, I've got them in there with some Buenos Aires tetras. Another good option would be other Central American cichlids or South American cichlids, but they should be small in size and generally peaceful in temperament. Nanoluteus are rather shy and docile and can easily get outcompeted for food and bullied around. Nanoluteus have been successfully spawned in the home aquarium. They are known as substrate spawners and will form temporary pairs. Best way to get a pair is to grow up a small group, say about six or so, from juveniles and as they pair up separate them out. The pair when it will lay about 200 or so eggs which will hatch in three to four days and the fry will be free swimming in about 10. You should feed them with baby brine shrimp but they will also feed off of algae and other detritus in the aquarium. One final important fact about the nanoluteus is they are a member of the CARES species list. Now, CARE stands for Conservation, Awareness, Recognition, Encouragement, and Support. The goal of CARES is to create a base stock of these conservation priority species through encouraging hobbyists to devote some tank space to one or more of these endangered species with the intent of breeding them and redistributing them to other qualified hobbyists. CARES also promotes communication between hobbyists and researchers in the field. I think I've done enough talking, so let's get to some more pretty pictures of this wonderful looking fish. If you ever have the opportunity to raise them, I highly encourage you to do so, and especially with the intent on breeding them and distributing the fry to other qualified hobbyists. 
If you want more information about the CARES program, please check out the description below for a link to their website.